Hey everybody, my name is Nathan, and I do comic book reviews because that's usually the rule around my house. If I want to buy them, then I have to do them. So I have a whole lot of reviews to catch up on. Uh, let's just start with this week. This is uh, Superman Action Comics number one that came out this week by uh, Grant Morrison and Rags Morales. Um, I bought this because it's Grant Morrison and because Superman has a weird costume on. Uh, it's got the t-shirt and jeans and combat boots and a cape. Um, and so that was the controversy that was going around this. And Grant Morrison has a history of shaking things up a bit, making things a little weirder than they usually are. So I thought that might be interesting. Um, I haven't read a S Superman comic since probably the mid-90s, so I'm not very up to date on the character or what's been done recently with him. Um, but I kind of found this to be a little boring, a little of what I expect from a Superman comic, not much different than anything that I've ever experienced before, and I think I was hoping for something different, uh, very different from the start. So I'm not saying that it won't get there eventually, but I didn't. this is definitely one that I was expecting to enjoy more than I did. I, uh, I did buy the Justice League one last week. And that one was more enjoyable than this, I think. And, you know, it's so early. I hate to judge a, a whole series or anything based on the first uh, issue. That's really difficult to do. But this seems like a story that I've even possibly read before, or I don't know. Uh, it didn't seem like there was anything particularly new or interesting about this, except for the things that you already knew, that it's written by Grant Morrison and has a weird costume. Um, the only other aspect that I found a little bit interesting was the uh, fact that his powers haven't fully developed yet, and so he's not as super strong as he normally is depicted as, and doesn't have every ability that he normally has. But aside from that, there really wasn't all that much uh, different from any other Superman story that I've read before, and, and I guess I was just hoping for something more drastically different. Uh, and Superman as a character doesn't really interest me all that much either because, uh, I don't know, it comes across pretty flat how he's such an alien and not very relatable, I think. Um, they do have General Lane and Lois and Jimmy Olsen and um, his nemesis in here. Not Jimmy's nemesis, but uh, Clark's nemesis, Luther. They're all in here, and that's part of the main plot devices, but it seemed like there were a lot of little hints in here to old Superman storylines that I haven't read, so it wasn't very... Uh, I, I felt like I was missing something for parts of it. Uh, I also found it interesting that with last week's... Well, maybe it, maybe it was already decided before last week, but that this is $3.99 with uh, DC's whole move to not make anything $3.99, that they're drawing the line at $2.99 except for when they know that it's going to sell a lot. So, I don't know, that's interesting. But, you know, they got me to buy it, and it was okay. I definitely don't think this is a great book. I don't think it's anything... I don't... I won't pick it up from here out. I'll be interested to hear what other people think about it and what happens in it, but I, I definitely won't be reading it anymore. Um, so maybe it'll be new and interesting from here on out, but uh, it wasn't all that great for me. So there you go. Three out of five for me, uh, and this is the first of the at least this week's reviews, if not more. Now that I'm back to my setup and everything's back to where it's supposed to go, I'm hoping to uh, get back on top of these things, as people have missed them, I think. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for listening to my reviews, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them for me. Uh, otherwise, thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time.